One of the things I would like to give as an advice for you who want to start growing your own cut flowers in the garden is that it's really important to have a few plants of each variety like not only just one or two plants, go for 10 because that will make it easier to put together a nice bouquet or an arrangement. When I pick flowers for a bouquet, I most often pick at least three to five stems of each. And if I only have a few plants to choose from, I get only just a few stems and less if I harvested yesterday too. It's easier when you get lots to choose from. I have grown this year's cut flowers in my little cottage garden with one or two varieties in each bed and then two big borders filled with mixed varieties planted in clusters. This way I have had plenty to choose from all summer long and not only for my own bouquets but also to pick for a florist in town. It's been great fun. For this bouquet, I have chosen summer mallow, amaranth, snapdragons, sunflowers, aurac, dahlia, zinnia, and pincushion flowers. Well, this is something that you can think about when you plan for your next season with cut flowers in the garden. Thank you for watching my videos at Sarah's Homestead and Flower Farm.